And we're live. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Nature Class. I'm your host, Miss Mallory, the Curious Conservationist. And today we are answering the question, how do desert plants survive in the harsh environment? As many of us know, plants need water to survive. And what they also do is actually give off water. It's called transpiration. So any organism, whether it's humans or plants, we always want to maintain a homeostasis, that balance inside our bodies. And when, for instance, humans are hot, we sweat. That's how we stay cool. With plants, they do the same thing, almost like transpiration. They're trying to balance the water. Well, when you're in a very sunny spot that does not get a lot of water, like the desert, you really don't want to give up your precious water. And the way that they do that is one by having very small pores called stomatas. And the stomatas prevent water from being released into the air, unlike plants like this that have very large stomatas that can release the gases in the air regularly, no big deal. But in the desert, they don't wanna give up their water. In addition to having smaller pores, they also have a very unique adaptation, which is what we're going to be looking at today. In this activity, hi everyone, uh, by the way, if you're on, I always love to know if you're either from, I'm gonna turn on the comments. Um, if you are either from Instagram or YouTube and where you're from. So I'm always interested and thank you for coming. So in this activity, you will need three paper towels. You'll need a piece of wax paper that's similar size to the paper towel something to put everything on to rest and some source of water if you'd like you can do paper clips too to hold things together but it's really not necessary so what you're going to do let me just lower you guys down just ever so slightly so you can see everything so what you're going to do is take your paper towels and separate them then you're going to get them all damp you want to get them wet. You want to get them like saturated, but you don't really want them to be dripping wet. So we're just going to do a light mist. Make sure they're all nice and wet. Whoop. Kept going. And then we are going to do our experiment. So one is going to be basically mimic the inside of a normal leaf. So we're just going to lay it right here, not do anything with it. The next one you're going to roll up. And this kind of mimics what the inside of a, or the outside protecting the leaf does. You know, there's many layers, so not all the water can escape. And you're just gonna lay it down here. And on the last one though, we are going to roll it up in wax paper. The paper towels don't really like to cooperate when they're wet. And go ahead and just roll it up. And then here, if you want, you can paper clip it. It's really not that big of a deal though. And you're going to lay it on your tray like so and put it by a window or on a counter for about 24 hours. We wanna make sure we give it plenty of time for the water to evaporate, much like a leaf would do when it's exposed to the sun. And what we find is, I did this yesterday, that the leaf that we had that was completely exposed is all dried out and not the nicest, right? And then the towel that we, roll, that we rolled up is still, I don't know if you can tell, but it's still kind of damp. It's um, just slightly, slightly wet. It's still pliable, we can still move it around. So you can see that the inside tissue that was rolled up kept the water from being evaporated by being rolled up. And the last one that's in this kind of wax paper is still completely wet. In fact, I'm sure I can even, yeah, so lots of water stayed in that. Why? Much like the way that cactus and other desert plants um, have adapted to living in the desert is they create this waxy coating around all their leaves or even their bodies. And that prevents the water from evaporating in the hot sun. 
So that's a great demonstration to show how desert plants have been able to adapt in the wild. But that's your activity for today, super simple. If you'd like to learn more about really cool desert plants and animals on my YouTube channel, if you go down to the fun fact section, you'll see one on the saguaro cactus, and you will also see some on some really, really neat animal adaptations uh, out in the desert. And I think there's also one on bighorn sheep that you can look at. So I really appreciate you guys coming. <laughs> That's from Anthony. Thanks, Anthony, for stopping by every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific time and 4 p.m. Eastern time. We do these fun activities. Wednesday, we'll also be doing something on plants, something I think we're going to do carnivorous plants. That would be really fun. So we're going to be talking about Venus flytraps and other animal, other plants that have to rely on eating animals to survive. But thank you guys. Tonight we're going to be doing story time as well. We're going to be story time about desert animals. So kind of continuing with this theme. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. If you have any other questions, please let me know. You can DM me or find me on Instagram, Facebook. And of course, you know, if you head over to YouTube, you can find many other really fun facts about um, different adventures. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.